OMG, Mabuhay Squad. RJ just ordered something that I absolutely love. I know you guys will love it. Um, I've been waiting for weeks for it to arrive, um, for RJ to finally order it. And here it is, Mabuhay Squad. Check out what is in this box. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. OMG guys, I've been waiting weeks for this. What? Hey, there's only one left. RJ, did you eat the empanadas? Yeah, this was not like it yesterday. I, you mean this was here since yesterday? Yeah. I totally didn't see it. Okay, guys, you guys know empanadas, right? Those of you who are not Filipino. Filipinos also eat empanadas and they're so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh, guys, let's eat. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Usually I would stick this in the microwave for like 10 to 20 seconds. I'll just eat it like this. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mabuhay Squad, I have a question. Are empanadas a food from Spain? Or are they a food from Mexico? Or like South America? Because I know the Philippines has a history both with Spain. Philippines was colonized by the Spaniards. But we've also had a long trading relationship with Mexico. Did you guys know this? I only learned this like recently. The Philippines um, apparently was supposed to be something like a province of Mexico or something like that, like a part of Mexico and not Spain. So I wonder where Filipino empanadas came from. If it came from like, you know, the Mexico relations or if it came from the Spanish relations. Any of you Philippine historians out there shed some light? Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, so good. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. Yes, here with the puppies. It's 6 a.m. Sun is rising. We're up early, huh? And um, pulled this out. This here was given to us by Mabuhay Squad Richard um, from US. And it's like a foraging toy for dogs. Now I put their pellets in some of the compartments in there. And they just have to find it. But it doesn't seem like right now they're hungry. They just woke up, like literally. Like, see, Sahara's just. I'm ready to go back to bed. I just have to pee and poo. Guys, look at this. See this? I was like, mmm, we're having chicken. Or just like, no, this is for the dogs. <laughs> Talk about spoiled, right? They get like full out packaged chicken. No hormones, steroids, 100% all natural. Chicken breast fillet. Seriously, this is how we spoil our animals. We don't have kids, so like our animals are our kids. Good morning, guys. Oh, beautiful morning sun, beautiful gorgeous Monday morning. Cheers to Monday morning or Monday evening, depending on when you're watching this. Mm. I've brewed me a nice French press full of Cypher coffee. This will be coming out soon now that we've nailed and you guys have voted on a, uh, a logo. We just now have to design our label um, for the bag and then we'll make it available, yay. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of other technical stuff like FDA approvals and all of this. Wow, headaches but needs to be done um, for everyone's safety, right? Um, and for our safety and security because we don't want to be, you know, we don't want to get in trouble. We want to make sure everything is set and safe and everything's good to go and we're packaged it and sending it out to you guys sorry let me take another sip of this you know it's so stressful this past two weeks because well yes the pandemic right that's stressful in itself but you know what else is stressful internet you guys might be wondering why the vlogs have been late uh for those of you who watch the ants canada channel every week you might notice that the videos have been consistently late like by hours and you know why because here internet is slow we've all known this for years i have like a an average mbps upload of under two mbps or one mbps um and guys don't come at me with oh you should go with this company converge no they do not offer any fiber in this particular building but i can look out the window and see all the houses that apparently have fiber it's just this particular building trust me we've tried and we we now have three four different uh what are they called routers so that we could keep switching depending on like which one's the fastest on the day um but yeah so stressful as in we send our vlog footage early in the morning for um editing and upload on time for you guys but it takes the whole day for it to like upload it's just crazy but 
Yeah, internet is slow, but just these past two weeks, it's been extra slow, like under one Mbps. So I apologize, guys. I am sorry. You know, usually these vlogs are uploaded by like 7 p.m. Philippines time, which is 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anyways, that's why this is not a rant. Well, yes, it is, but you know, it is what it is. There are a million other things to be grateful for. Trust me, I know, don't worry. But it doesn't um, discredit my frustrations that I've been having with internet. And it's definitely taught me patience. And I love this coffee. I can't wait to move to the Mobuhai Squad farm, guys. Apparently, they have fiber fast there. Woo! And then you know what else they're talking about? They're talking about Elon Musk's satellite internet. Apparently, it's supposed to be really fast and stable, expensive. So from what I understand, it's at a rate that per I don't think the average person can afford. But there is a market that is willing to pay. Like RJ and I, we're willing to pay a lot for consistent internet like it, it affects our work you know what i mean it's affecting our income the slow internet so we're willing to invest in that elon bring it over long overdue but yeah at the mabuhai squad farm apparently they have fiber fast can you believe it out in the farm we will have faster internet than in this building in the city okay why am i okay wait why am i complaining this is not good okay i'm gonna stop see guys you guys ask me well how do you stay positive every day so look see this is a moment where i'm not positive you know what i do i say okay cancel 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 you have to identify the negative thought look at it like a cloud passing by tag it like no this is not me no that thought is negative not for me goodbye all right like let, let's look at it in the whole picture of things. I am from a time when there was no internet. Remember when I had to go to the library to like pick out a book to research or like go look up the letter Q to look up quarantine on the encyclopedia, you know what I mean? Like I remember those days and like having to get my library card. I forgot it at home. I had to take go back home and get my library card to take a library book. You know, I'm grateful the internet exists. We can can literally access any information in the world from like these random like futuristic machines that send out a beam into outer space to get us whatever info we need in like a split second well in this case maybe five five minutes okay I need to stop complaining again about our slow internet but you guys know what I'm saying right it's actually a miracle like wow oh my gosh the technology we have today who am I to complain that I can beam a 4k video <laughs> into space for the whole wide world to access and oh it takes me five hours oh you know what i mean like i should be i should be grateful for this me of all people like born in the 80s i should be grateful for this technology okay so see this is this was my thought process it starts off negative and a complaint and then you tag it as negative and then you step back at the, and look at the whole picture. Like in the end, if you look at the whole picture, you will end up with a positive thought. And now our destination and positive thought is, wow, the internet. Like let's, let's just take the slow time that it takes to beam information into outer space and just appreciate the fact that we have this amazing thing called internet and just like not really look at the speed. Anyways, sorry for that rant. Do you guys agree? How do you guys battle negative thoughts? That's how I do it. Like when I catch myself thinking negative, you gotta identify it. You gotta be self-aware. You gotta take close inventory. There's gotta be a filter in your mind that says, oh, this is a negative thought. It doesn't make me feel good. Tag it. That's a negative thought. Look at the negative thought. Let it pass by. Don't identify it. Don't don't be, let it become you. Let it pass by and then step back. And be like, okay, but you know what? I should be grateful for this. What's your thought process for processing negative thoughts? I'm curious to know. Ah, I love this coffee. Gorgeous, gorgeous morning here in um, the Philippines, Metro Manila. Beautiful, oh, and I see a flock of pigeons way down there flying around. How cute. Yay, Cypher already opened one compartment. Go ahead. Where's the others? Go find it, find it. Cypher's good. <laughs> there you go. Good boy. Where's the others? Where's the others? Go, find. 
it's really a great, great toy. They engage their nose, their paws, vision. Oh, you, he was correct. Their minds. Hey, don't tell me you're just gonna chew that. <laughs> oh, wow, they can even, oh, I didn't know that. They can even remove the white, slide it over, and I can even put treats in here. Okay, how interesting. I love this toy. I think I love this toy more than they do. Just kidding, they love this toy. Good boy. <laughs> what a great toy. Thank you again so much, Richard. This is amazing. All right, good boy, Sipes. Sarah's like, I'm not sure if I get the concept. Yep, under there. There's one under there. Wow, see, so he's gonna use his mouth to remove it. It's not there. What's he doing? It's right there. I guess he's just preoccupied with chewing that now. <laughs> there you go, good boy. <laughs> so, we just had a shower, the three of us, yes. And now they're getting dry. They go crazy after their shower. And they love to dry themselves off, see? Look at Cypher. <laughs> yes, and Sahara's so good in the shower. She totally doesn't mind it. And here they go playing. They love post shower. Good girl. Good, you guys are so good. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one's a rabbit, I swear. Ah, it feels so good to wake up early, freshen up, and get most of your work done by like, what time is it? By like 8 a.m. Oh. Mornings are awesome. How about you guys? Are you a morning person or a night person? Hmm? Um, growing up, I was always a night person. I mean, you know, musician, artist, sleep schedule, right? Usually we're jamming in the night. So like going to bed at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. Um, but lately, I guess due to lifestyle, it's just been consistently. I'm awake by 4.30 um, or 5 a.m. latest, which is kind of good because if we're gonna be living on the farm, we're gonna wanna get all of our, most of our chores done by morning. You know what I mean? Like before the heat comes out and all of that. Like I'm talking about letting the chickens out, um, feeding the dogs, all of that. RJ is totally a night owl. He is like up till 2 a.m., you know, like shopping, working, whatnot. Um, and then usually he wakes up um, around now, around eight to nine-ish, uh, but that's okay. I get to have my me time with the puppies in the morning and it always makes for a great start. How about you guys? Who of you are team morning and who is team night? Mm -hmm. Let me know. All right, guys, top of the week. Our positive affirmation for Monday, March the 29th. I do not apologize for everything under the sun. I choose my apologies carefully and with sincerity. Oh, I rather like that. I do not apologize for everything under the sun. I choose my apologies carefully and with sincerity. I do like that because not everything warrants an apology. You know what I mean? Earlier, I talked about um, complaining. And yes, I said, sorry, I, I'm complaining. But you know, I mean, uh, if I want to be kind to myself, then I allow myself to complain every now and then. As long as I, it filters through the process of, you know, going from a negative thought to a positive thought. Um, I do like this. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. By the way, I just realized I also forgot to say about the internet because yesterday I told RJ, I'm like, RJ, can't we like call a serviceman or something or speak to the owner of this building to, you know, pay what it costs to add fiber to the building? You know, RJ said, no, there's just nothing we could do. We've tried many times to contact customer service of the two companies that we use for internet. I know guys, right? Isn't it crazy? The dogs agree. <laughs> um, and in terms of this building, I've written the owner emails and all of that, but I'm not going to reveal what building this is because just not my energy right now uh, to like, you know, negatively endorse a building. But I'm just, Looking forward to the day we are on the farm and we have fast internet. All right, anyways, again, not venting. Ah, negative thought. Goodbye, negative thought. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> also, another and final note on thinking positive is it really helps 
to have someone else to snap you out of a negative zone. So RJ and I are all about positive thinking, right? So when one of us is thinking negatively or are in like a negative bubble, the other will pull the other out of it. You know what I mean? Like yesterday, for example, I was complaining about the internet and then RJ snapped me out of it. He's like, oh, you're complaining. And I realized, oh my gosh, yes, I am. You know, it's, it's really a first world problems type thing in the end. That really helps too. So if you and your partner are watching this, or if it's just you and you have a partner, maybe it would be a fun game to help each pull each other out of negative mindsets. Um, and you got, it'll benefit you both in the end and it'll bring you guys closer. Mm -hmm. So guys, RJ's awake. Say good morning. Say good morning. Morning. <laughs> he's like good morning um guys and what he's about to cook is something I have been craving mm -mm -mm. my boo high squad I can't wait to show you what he is preparing for lunch <laughs> 